What do you think? I think we're dead meat. Real dead meat. You're dead meat! Go ahead and laugh, you guys. The final, final little pass is a business. A dead meat. Welcome to the Dead Meat Podcast, an extension of the YouTube channel Dead Meat. I'm James. I'm Chelsea, and we're boyfriend and girlfriend, and we like to get scared together. Yeah, and play games. And play games. Yeah. So we're going to play a game to help us cool off from the heat, because... LA is uh, it's 120 degrees outside. Oh my god! I mean, it's at least 110. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I feel like 120 is like actually melting some stuff. Maybe I don't know. I mean, that happens. Yeah, I think so. Well, we're not going outside to find out. Yeah. We're staying in here with our air conditioning, with our kitty cat, and with Mad Libs. Yeah, I'm, we're gonna play horror Mad Libs. Um, if you don't know what Mad Libs are, they're basically a little story where a bunch of words are left blank and you fill in the blanks not knowing what the story is and then you get something really funny. Yeah, Yeah. hopefully. Hopefully. (laughs) Hopefully it's not just stupid bullshit and we're like, all right, next one. (laughs) Yeah. So I took a bunch of, of horror movies that we all know and love and I turned their plots into Mad Libs. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you fill them out. You're not gonna know what the movie is. So you're going to guess what movie you've totally mutilated after I'm done reading it back to you. Okay. You also mentioned we're going to cast them. What? At what point do we cast them? Uh, at the end. At the end, after we read the whole story? Nope. Before we... Okay, blind so, okay. casting. Got it, got this it, got it, got it. blind casting. It. Okay. Oh, yeah. I got to put up little <laughs> screens so that you can't see Ooh. what I'm writing. So let me... Yeah, we should have gotten Grussell's DM I screen. Know. We're going to use our... Our little <laughs> photos that we took at Binion's in Las Vegas because they fold out so I can do this like I'm in school. Yo, Binion's was the best. Binion's is the shit. $5 yeah. black jack. Fuck yeah. I'll just have to lean <laughs> into the mic. Glad I don't have to do that. I'm comfortable here with my coffee. Female first name. Lena. <laughs> oh, fun. <clears throat> Last name. Um, Pickleton. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm really just trying to be as creative as possible here. You're doing great. Thanks, babe. Animal. Chihuahua. Oh, so good. <laughs> Why'd you pick an animal with so many fucking letters in it, dude? Just put chai chai. Chai chai. I don't know. Body part. Earlobe. A title. Like a like um. A tale of two cities. Like Mister. Oh, I see. Madam. Great. Male first name. Uh, Freddie. Another male first name. Keegan. <laughs> Which is a great name. I, it is. It's a good name. I used it as the protagonist name in my first uh, short film in college. Uh, last name. Uh, shit. Uh, uh. No, we're not putting shit. Hooper. Oh. Uh, you are just loving no, my answers here. It's just like. But it's just what the movie is combined with all these. <laughs> Sorry, this one yeah. has a lot of blanks, but it's going to be so You worth sound it. like a fucking like, ghost hunter on a show. You're like just picking up some really just good getting, stuff. Yeah, here. getting some really good. I'm feeling some really strong vibrations <laughs> here. A number. Seven. How boring is that? It's, not it's the most boring number. Answer. Type of criminal. Type of criminal? Mm hmm. Money launderer. Politician. It's like a real one? Sure, I think that's funnier. Strom Thurmond. <laughs> that racist bastard. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Verb. Placate. Occupation. Barber. Adjective. Big. Sorry. <laughs> Small living thing. Gerbil. Give me a government organization or job, like a public servant type. Uh, press secretary. Very good. Yeah. Uh, another body part. Hmm. 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 Retina. Type of person. Clergyman. Clergyman. Great. Something you can fit inside. Uh. That comes up a lot in these. This... Well, because they're all horror and people get put in stuff. <laughs> You're right. People do get put in stuff. Let's say a coffin. Room in house. Foyer. 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 Verbal adjective. I think that's the right name for this kind of word. This is an adjective that's like something, something been done. has been done to something. So like burnt or frozen. Uh, let's say 
uh, soaked. Another animal. Jaguar. Cosmetic okay. product. Eye shadow. Could have gone any number of ways. That was an eye. Uh, cold. Got to throw some simple ones in there. Gerund. Ooh. That's an ing word. Beatboxing. Article of clothing. I just re- I didn't think these would take this long. Pa- pa- <laughs> Pantyhose. <laughs> Container. <laughs> um. Uh, Tupperware. Another animal. Bonobo. Adjective. Foreign. Okay, let me make sure I have everything. I just keep looking at this Binion's picture. I, the Binion's pictures. I'll just show you guys what's on the inside. Oh, I need another oh. female first name. Um, Tippy. Last name. Parker. One last adjective, please. Any, oh, wait. No. I think I put the wrong article of speech in here. Give me like a not tangible noun. Like a... Grunt. Actress. Okay. You're not giving me age ranges here? An adult. Laura Dern. Give me an actor, adult male actor. Um let's 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 throw a bone to someone who, you know, maybe hasn't had that much work in a while, but is uh someone who's like, you know, deserves to be on screen more. You know what? I think he's had work in a while, but I can always see him more on screen. Is this gonna is this like a renaissance type role, a reconnaissance type role? It for won't someone? be. No. Uh, five years ago, yes, Bradley Whitford. Ooh, so good. He's so good. Oh, fuck. No, it's just, this is really good. I love that man so much. Another actor. <laughs> uh, here, you know what? Let's do, let's do Christopher, fuck, what's his name? Christopher McDonald? Christopher Lambert? No, no, no. Shooter McGavin. You can oh, just, just, I think that's Christopher McDonald. You can just write Shooter McGavin. Okay, <laughs> Let's get both the Adam Sandler. Um, this is the best movie of all time, by the way. Uh, fuck. Wow. Okay. Okay, here we go. Press secretary trainee Lena Pickleton is asked to question Madam Freddie Hooper, a barber slash money launderer who placates his victims. Lena interrogates Madam Hooper so she can find Chihuahua Keegan, who has killed seven big clergymen to make them into earlobe pantyhose. I'm sorry, we need to know who's playing who here. Um, Lena Pickleton is Laura Dern. Kay. Madam Freddie Hooper is Bradley Whitford. Okay, which who's is the being, best. Who's being questioned? Yeah. Okay. And Chihuahua Keegan is Shooter McGavin. <laughs> Can I, can I say what the movie is? Yes. Yeah, Silence of the Lambs. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, all of the victims are found with gerbils in their retinas. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Which doesn't make sense, but also, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> A potential future victim is Tippy Parker, the daughter of Strom Thurmond. She is being kept <laughs> by... She's being kept by Chihuahua Keegan in a coffin in his foyer, where he gives her eyeshadow and a Tupperware to keep her earlobes cold. Oh. Tippy tries to escape by capturing foreign Chihuahua Keegan's Bonovo. Bonovo. It is a foreign Bonovo. It's named after the band oh. Foreigner. Oh. Oh, the name is foreign? Well, because precious. Oh, okay. Lena Pickleton saves the day, but not before telling Madame Hooper about a jaguar she saved from being soaked and how she still hears the other jaguars beatboxing. <laughs> Starring Laura Dern as Lena Pickleton, Bradley Whitford as Madam Hooper, Shooter McGavin as Chi Chi Keegan. <laughs> I forgot I wrote down Chi Chi. Chihuahua, Chihuahua Keegan. And Strom Thurmond as himself. <laughs> the, the, the corpse of Strom Thurmond. <laughs> <laughs> Title, The Grunt of the Jaguars. Ooh. Uh... Chihuahua Keegan is the greatest name it's ever. It's really good. Yeah. It's really, really good. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. If there's anyone out there who um, has a racehorse and needs a good name, because all Keegan. the good ones are taken, Chihuahua Keegan's yeah. really good. That one almost made sense except for the gerbils and the retinas. Yeah, that I think it's it hard because now we're, getting, now we're getting into a groove. I'll be a little more picky. Okay. Because it's like a lot to fill out and I don't want there to just be like dead air while I'm reading and seeing if it makes sense. Yeah. I, I do. I would pay any amount of money to watch Bradley Whitford be a Hannibal Lecter knockoff 
who makes what? What does he do? He, oh, no, he placates his victims. Yeah, which, okay, but I kind of like. <laughs> yeah, he's a barber by day, kind of like Hannibal Lecter's a psychologist. Okay. But by night, he's a money launderer. He's a money launderer who placates his victims, so he launders their money. Yeah, or- by making them <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's okay feel comfortable yeah <laughs> okay okay foreign city oh man uh uh budapest female first name Rhonda. i always think of that character from hey arnold which one was Rhonda? i think Rhonda was the rich girl oh was she yeah I think wow so. I I know my Hey Arnold. I'm surprised I can't really remember. You don't Rhonda. remember the episode where they're poor? They like lose all their money, and she has to. Oh, wear she has a like the curtain. short black hair. Yeah, and a red sweater. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Male first name. Uh, Ryan. Last name. Uh, fuck. The last names are so hard. Um. Uh, Swearington. Right. But Swearington's a real name. I had a friend named Sean Swearington when I was younger. Oh, really? I, th- I thought it was hilarious. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure he loved having that first name growing up. Yeah, he hated or it. Or last name. Last name. First, that'd be crazy as a first Swe- name. Swearington Jones at your service. Swearington Pickleton. <laughs> a type of board game or like or a toy. Uh, 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 the 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 gorilla that sings, uh, uh. <laughs> It can't be this complicated. Oh, man. I don't know what you're talking about, though. The one who's like, <laughs> he wears the Hawaiian shirt and the hat. Put singing gorilla. Singing, all right, fine. It'll be great. Actually, to make that one make more sense, I'm going to change a couple things because I think that's really funny. Okay. An uncomfortable texture. Gritty. A ligature. Ligature. Yeah. I'm thinking. I I only know it in terms of marching band. What? what? What's a ligature? Something you can tie something with. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Twine. I only know it from like with the mouthpiece. Woodwind instrument. Woodwind instrument. A relation. A spouse. A monster. Uh, the monsters. Oh wow, good. Mm-hmm. From Space Jam. Adjective? Um, um, tipsy. Like tippy. I'm not that creative. Bodily fluid. Saliva. Family member. Sister. Second female first name? Martha. Martha. Uh. That was my grandma's name. Although maybe I shouldn't say that because that, that sounds exactly like one of those, uh, uh, forgot your password questions. Was oh my god. <laughs> yeah. What was your grandma's name? Shit, now everyone knows. Um, Gerund. Um, stabbing. <laughs> a mean grade school nickname. <laughs> uh, four eyes. A lot of build up for I've nothing. ever been called four eyes before. I wore glasses. I feel like that was a Gen 1 uh, mean nickname. Yeah. You know? Um, religious figure. The Pope. I'll just keep it simple. Type of person. Uh, sh- Male person. Great. Can I change it to mailman? Because that's one of your. Sure. I was trying to be politically correct. <laughs> Something sharp. A needle. Body part. Abdomen. I feel like with body part, you should specify if it is an external or internal one. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. A verb. Drinks. A mythical place. Asgard. Adjective. Uh, hot, hot, hot. It has to be hot, hot, yeah, hot. Yeah, I, I wrote down hot, hot, hot. Verb. Tingle. Uh, tingles. Tingles? Sure. Another ligature. Ligature? Uh, shit. A yo-yo string. Verb. Push. I need a feeling and another feeling. <laughs> Confusion or confused or whatever. Okay. And hungry. Okay. I'm, we're casting this whole thing because it's too good. Okay. We got Actor. J.K. Simmons. Actress. Sandra Bullock. Another actress. Maybe younger. Tessa Thompson. Actor. Male actor. Finn Wolfhard. Older. Like oh. a, like an older dude. I demand Finn Wolfhard. Okay. <laughs> Great. Actress. Wanda Sykes. Actor. Harlan Williams. <laughs> and another actor. 
Um, let's get a reu- reunion going on. Jim Brewer. <laughs> Does anyone who watches your channel know who that is? Fuck. No one knows who Harlan Williams or Jim Brewer are, but look it up because we're sticking with them. They were both in the seminal film Half Baked. Half Baked. Jim Brewer did a lot of stand up. Har- one of our favorite movies to watch. Together. And Harlan Williams was in uh, There's Something About Mary talking about seven minute abs. A verb. <laughs> Carbs. Oh boy. All right. You ready? Yeah. Do you know what this is? Not from this. All right. In Budapest, Ryan Swearington buys a type of singing gorilla puzzle. Gremlins? Nope. When Ryan solves the singing gorilla puzzle. Oh, Hellraiser. Gritty twines emerge and tear him apart. <laughs> Ryan becomes a tipsy monster. <laughs> His spouse Rhonda agrees to harvest saliva for Ryan so he can stay alive. I need to know the casting here. Okay, Ryan Swearington. Yeah. Is J.K. Simmons. Okay. Rhonda is Sandra Bullock. Okay. Okay. So Rhonda agrees to harvest saliva for Ryan so he can stay alive. (laughs) You're just like, could you spit in this pan, please? mm. (laughs) Ryan's sister, Martha, played by Tessa Thompson, Mm. realizes Rhonda is stabbing people for Ryan. Martha steals the singing gorilla puzzle and accidentally summons four popes. (laughs) Needle abdomen, played by... Finn Wolfhard. Yeah, Finn, you got this role. Drinker played by Harlan William. Just, <laughs> drinker. Yeah. He just, just shows drinker. up. He's all drunk. Yeah. Hey, hey, you you call you call for the popes. Yeah, we're here. We're the popes. Four Eyes played by Jim Brewer. <laughs> yeah, and man, we're here. We're the popes. Introducing Wanda Sykes as Mailman Pope. <laughs> <laughs> oh <best> god thing. <laughs> yes mailman pope i love mailman pope a lot yeah mailman Pope. <laughs> <laughs> they are from asgard and seek hot 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 experiences <laughs> they can no longer tell the difference between confusion and hunger <laughs> the popes kill ryan by tingling him with yo-yo strings they try to tingle Martha, too, but she reverses the singing gorilla puzzle and pushes them. Uh, Just push them. <laughs> push, no. She shoves them. No. The title is Asgard Carver. The actual thing is, it's Hellraiser. Nice. Asgard Carver. That's maybe my favorite so Asgard far. Asgard Carver, it's pretty good. Just I for love Mailman Pope. Mailman Pope, played by Wanda Sykes. You got the two side characters from Half Baked as the two side set Four popes. eyes and drinker. Yeah. And uh Needle Abdomen. And then you got Finn Wolfhard in a very in a career defining role. Yes, as this Needle is when Abdomen. everyone's all the reviews say he's an adult now. Yeah, the, yeah, this is when it's like, Oh, he's he's no longer the Stranger Things kid. Yeah. No, that sounds like a blast. I love that cast. It's a really good cast. That's a good one. All right, ready for the next one? Yeah. Okay. City and state. Oh, uh, uh, Des Moines, Iowa. I got you, Iowans. Although your your importance is a little overblown every four years, if I may say so myself. Male first name. Sam. Last name. Turinsky. Just picking names from my childhood friends here. What Second up, Eric? Second male name. Uh, Eric. Eric! That's gonna be so loud. I I leaned back. Verb. Qu- uh, quiver. Material. Teflon. An interesting occupation. Ooh. Gun runner. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Another mean nickname. Quasimodo. Currency. Peso. Public infrastructure. Subway. Vehicle. Hummer. Body part. Internal or external? External. Heel. Verb. Prick. A personality trait. Smarmy. Another body part. Eyebrow. Type of person. A real son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, liquid. Apple juice. 
a water feature, like something water can be. Ooh, geyser? Adjective? Striped. Another adjective. Wooden. Type of artwork. Picasso. A collective. Street gang. Specifically the uh, West Side Story type. Something you can fit inside. (laughs) I can't believe this comes up so much. A tauntaun belly. Another male name. Steven. Body part. External. Nose. A female name. Rochelle. Body part. Um, External. Bicep. Bicep. I don't know why I said bicep. That was weird. Bicep. A number? 42. A unit of time. Eon. Give me an actor. One actor for this. Just one actor? This actor's got to carry this vehicle. Uh, Okay, so we need an actor who can carry a movie entirely by themselves. Just on the screen. Magnetic. Just uh, people will not want to turn away whenever they're on the screen. They can do anything. I think we know the answer to this. Nicolas Cage. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Wow. Okay. Do you think you know what this is? Uh, with one actor and it's not buried? Okay, never mind. I just, I, it, it was either cast one actor or cast a ton of people. Okay. One day in Des Moines, Iowa, Sam Turinsky gives his brother Eric a Teflon Hummer. <laughs> Eric Turinsky was my like best friend growing up. Really? Yeah. Oh no. The Teflon Hummer accidentally quivers into a subway where a gun runner lives. You still I don't think I know where what this is yet. Cool. The gun runner rips off Eric's heel and pricks him. Oh, the, is it Texas Chainsaw Massacre? No. no what the fuck? The gun runner named Peso Smarmy. <laughs> Peso Smarmy <laughs> begins terrorizing Sam and his friends. Is Sam Nick Cage? No. Is Peso Smarmy Nick Cage? Yes. Is this Freddy Krueger? Is this Nightmare on Elm? What the fuck? Is this Friday the 13th? No. I'll just stop. Peso Smarmy appears as an eyebrowless real son of a bitch, <laughs> a geyser of apple juice, a striped man, and a wooden Picasso come to life. All of the kids Peso Smarmy terrorizes call themselves the Quasimodo Street Gang. <laughs> they... Oh, oh, it's it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Peso Smarmy is the best, and it's Nick Cage? Yeah. They go to the house that Peso Smarmy lives in where the gun runner comes out of a tauntaun belly and breaks Steven's nose. Rochelle impales Peso Smarmy through the bicep, and they escape. Then the Quasimodo street gang goes to the city subway where Peso Smarmy's lair is. They defeat the gun runner at least until he wakes up 42 eons later, <laughs> starring Nicolas Cage as Peso Smarmy, the gun runner. Yes, that's great. Yep, and that was it. Dude, Nick Cage as Pennywise. I don't think Nick Cage would have to change anything from his Wicker Man performance to be Pennywise. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. I'm not I'm not looking. Also, I don't have my glasses on or my contacts in. I don't think you need the Binion's books. I don't, I need... don't need the Binion's pictures. No, but you can show them the picture inside because okay. it's me. I'm sorry if you're listening to this, but it's it's me it's and be out of focus. my family and Chelsea. It's us with a million dollars. It's an actual it's million Binion's. dollars. And my dad looks like a fucking supervillain. He looks like a fucking James Bond or more like an Austin Powers supervillain. It's great. <laughs> Male first name. Timothy. Last name. Uh, Jenkins. Jenkins. Adjective. Uh, strong. Occupation. Gynecologist. A way of getting somewhere. Skateboarding. Device. GPS. I'm altering this one a little, make it funnier. (laughs) Another occupation. Victoria's Secret salesperson. They had that job. Everyone had that job. It sucks. Yeah, it sounds miserable. A uh, female first name. Tammy. Adjective. Adjectives are hard for some reason for me. Plastic. Living in the world of the plastic beach. Animal. Squid. Verbal adjective. Melted. Any living thing. Mon calamari. <laughs> 
That's Admiral Akbar's race, for anyone not in the know. And Admiral Akbar is the It's a Trap guy from Star Wars, for anyone uh, even less in the know. And Star Wars is a science fiction uh, series created by George Lucas in 1977. Food. Lasagna. Regular Garfield on our hands here. Mood. The Mondays. The case of the Mondays. Um, irritated. Texture. Slick. A non-essential body part. <laughs> Appendix. Body part. External. A cheek. Butt cheek. Let's make it blue. Let's make it dirty. <laughs> Murder method. Asphyxiation. Object. Crystal ball. Actor. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, you know what? He's been doing so well lately, and he's been in a lot of stuff. I want to. I want to keep his career rolling here. So let's cast. Let's go ahead and cast uh, Lakeith Stanfield. Oh, okay. Yep. Get him in there. And an actress. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You know what? She's not really an actress anymore, but I think people from our generation would, would flock to the screen to see her return to a movie. You know, she's more of like a an activist on Twitter nowadays. Let's have Mara Wilson in there. Let's get Matilda back on the screen. Great. Ready? Yeah. You got this, Mara. Don't worry. <laughs> Timothy Jenkins. Is that... Lakeith? Lakeith, played by Lakeith Stanfield, a strong gynecologist, has invented a skateboarding GPS. He shows it to Victoria's Secret salesperson, Tammy, played by Mara Wilson. The skateboarding GPS can skateboard plastic objects, but not alive ones, such as when it melts a squid. Oh. <laughs> Timothy tries to skateboard himself alone, not realizing that a Mon Calamari was on the skateboarding GPS with him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tammy becomes worried about Timothy because he has lasagna cravings, is increasingly irritated, and has slick appendixes growing out of his butt cheeks. Oh, no. He realizes that he and the Mon Calamari have merged together and calls himself Jenkins Mon Calamari. <laughs> Timothy ultimately becomes fused with the skateboarding GPS itself and asks Tammy to kill him. She asphyxiates him with a crystal ball. Oh, no. Starring Lakeith Stanfield as Jenkins, Mon Calamari, and Mara Wilson as Tammy. God, that scene when she shoves that crystal ball down his throat. Yeah. And he just is like, and just dies. Damn. Yeah. It's called the Mon Calamari. Yeah. That's the fly. Yes, it is. Good stuff. Ah, uh, poor, <laughs> poor Jenkins Mon Calamari. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew Mon Calamari liked lasagna? Yeah, right. You learned. You know what? It's probably in one of those expanded universe books somewhere Absolutely. that are no longer canon. Uh, Come on, Abrams, bring it back. Make it canon again. Have a big a big royal funeral for Admiral Akbar with lasagna everywhere. Oh. Uh, That'd be great. Female name. Oh, we're doing more? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? One last one. Okay. All right. Female name? Yeah. Helga. Save the best for last. A uh, unit of time. Hour? Uh, last name. Vega. Mr. Vince Vega. A male first name. Ian. Building. A specific one or a more general? More general. Not like proper noun building. Okay. Gazebo. Relation. Boss. Another unit of time. Fortnite. Not the game. Type of person. Gossiper. Place in home. Bathroom. I should have to write Ian a bunch of times. Good thing it's a short name. Yes, seriously. <laughs> Some of these you give me, I'm like, Bartholomew. Why, why, why? Chihuahua. <laughs> um, hey, that gave us Chihuahua Keegan. Yeah. You can't complain. Remember that time I really knew my audience and said Harlan Williams and Jim Brewer for names? Yes. A home textile. A what? A home textile. Uh, 
textile meaning? Like just a fabric. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so like bed sheet. Yep. Okay. Uh, mode of transportation or vehicle. Truck. Specifically, an F one fifty. Okay, I'll write Ford F one fifty. That's right. Yeah, we know cars. Way to get rid of something. Shamwow. A natural environment. Uh, desert. Another occupation. Anthropologist. A room in your home. Office. Number. Six. Six, six. The number of the beast. Okay. Another relation. Charge. Oh. (laughs) Charge is good. Mood. Uh, Desperate. Three verbs. Three verbs. Fuck. I don't like verbs. Let's go with steal. Let's go with adjust. And let's go with uppercut. Another type of person. A street fighter. A way you feel about something. Enamored by. Enamored with? I can, yeah, make that work. Okay. Body part. Pinky. Actor. Cut just one actor for this. Just one? Hmm? Oh, fuck. Make and it good. the last one? Yeah. yeah. Can he be no longer with us? Yeah, sure. Christopher Lee. Oh, shit. Ready? Yes. Helga decides to spend the hour at the Vega Gazebo. <laughs> the owner is named Ian Vega, played by Christopher Lee, and he lives with his boss. Later that fortnight, a gossiper murders Helga in the bathroom. Ian <laughs> finds Helga and wraps her in a bed sheet, puts her in her F- her, no, sorry, her Ford F-150, <laughs> and shamwows the F-150 in a desert. <laughs> When an anthropologist shows up, Ian has his boss hide in the office. Ian is ultimately arrested, and it is discovered he has 666 personalities. Oh, my God, Ian. He murdered his boss and her charge because he was desperate. He becomes his boss and steals, adjusts, and uppercuts the way she does. He kills any street fighter he thinks his boss wouldn't be enamored with. Probably by uppercutting them. Yeah. <laughs> His boss is now taking complete control over Ian's pinky. <laughs> Starring Christopher Lee as Ian Vega, owner of the Vega Gazebo. No, boss. No, what are you doing, boss? So, what movie is this? That's Psycho. That's actually, it's the 1998 Psycho remake. God damn it, Chelsea! God damn Damn it. I thought we had moved past that goddamn Vince Vaughn I, remake. I literally did, even if this is exactly the same as Psycho, I referenced the 1998 Psycho Wikipedia God. just to keep it real to make this outline. Excellent work. I was sitting here when I told you to cast an actor trying to just beam Vince Vaughn into oh, your head. Because no. that would have been so I funny. I picked a uh, similarly heighted man. I believe Christopher Lee is 6'4 and Vince Vaughn is 6'5. Yeah. I believe. I may be wrong on those. Well, you, you did it. You got him in there. Good work. Thank you. Those were Mad Libs. Those were horror-themed Mad Libs. I hope those were fun. It was, it was a fun video. They can't all be research heavy, final girl academic podcast episodes. There's not enough time in the world for that. Nope. So sometimes we just like to have fun. And you know what? We hope that you had fun with us. Because I had fun. I know you're nervous about it. I think it was a fun episode. I mean, it's Mad Libs. It's I don't Mad know what Libs. I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It was, a, it was a fun time. We got some good stuff out of there. Okay. So hope you enjoyed it. If you did... Make sure to rate and review us on iTunes and whatever other podcasting app that you use to listen to this. Uh, make sure you follow the Dead Meat on social media at Dead Meat James on Instagram and Twitter, and of course the Dead Meat YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to that. Chelsea, you can find me at Carebeck. That's C A R E B E C C on Twitter and Instagram, and yeah, DeadMeatStore.com if you want merch. We have two new pins. So yeah, Biker Billy. It's a fun little pin. We can put an image of it on the video since you can't really see it uh, here. It's too small, but it's a uh, biker Billy. It's it's Billy from Saw, Billy the Puppet, and he's on a motorized tricycle. You know those things. It's for people who want to ride a hog 
maybe don't have the best sense of balance. Need uh, those back two wheels to keep them keep them upright. That's what Biker Billy's on. He's got his aviator sunglasses. He's got his rear view mirrors on the handles to keep him safe. See what's going on. The bike's got a little flame on it, and this can be yours. Let's show him that other pin. It's right by you. It's uh, it's our Lucy Cat pin. How close were you holding these? To it doesn't screen? matter. We got to put an image up on the screen yeah. so that people can properly see it. That's got a, a Lucy Cat pin. Yep. For anyone who's just listening, it's a uh, pin in the shape of a cat face, specifically our cat's face, Lucy, with a little banner going across it saying, up to no good, because she's Lucy the cat, and she's up to no good. Mm-hmm. That's right. And like I said, the other one is Biker Billy from the Saw franchise. Both of those are available at deadmeatstore.com. We also lowered the prices of a few other pins, so you can check those out. Maybe if uh, maybe if some of those were some wallet breakers before, now they're more affordable. And what, the Dewey badge is going We've out We've only of- got a few of the uh, Sheriff Dewey badges, and we think we're not going to get any more. So those are, uh, right now, they are a limited edition thing. So yeah. if you were thinking about getting one, act now while you can, because that shit's almost out of here. And then you'll never have another Dewey badge again, unless there's like super popular demand. But next week, we'll do another movie review. We have something in mind. Hopefully it works out. Yeah, we can't say what it is yet. Yeah, just Because we want to have someone come review a movie with us. Yeah, if it doesn't happen next week, it'll happen soon. Yep. But until then, I'm James. I'm Chelsea. And this has been the Dead Meat Podcast.